what is good ladies and gentlemen it's your boy foxy welcome back to the foxes den getting into one more reaction for this session today getting into the most recent episode of jjk episode 19 of season two bro this show has been something fucking else dude oh my god this shit is just absolute fucking gas uh episode 18 i believe i haven't even uploaded yet to the channel and that is simply because of just like you know the thanksgiving break i had the fucking sick i was sick last week so you know just you know not working as efficiently as i usually do just because i felt like shit um and you know uh we just haven't gotten to it too yet but in terms of last episode i mean dude what the fuck man is just everybody gonna die in this fucking show uh, i mean i I swear to God, like, we left off last episode with fucking Maito being a little bitch, and I was saying in that episode discussion, I was confused, I thought it was like a flashback, and like, maybe like that had already happened, but no, it's actually that time, uh, so it's the present that Nobara is facing off against Maito, but that's Maito's like, split clone that's up there on the surface i forgot that like we like i was like have, i was like talking during the moment that he like split off i noticed that he split off but i didn't really notice like the like descriptions like okay one's going above the surface and one's going over here and obviously itadori's down the subway still and that's where he was fighting that malito so the other one is definitely on the surface and you can see that whenever he faced off against nobara there at the end of the episode they're on the surface so that's the clone and it's but they're both happening at the same time like simultaneously it's, it, it is the present so i was confused on that at first I want to clarify that real quick and then also just like i mean the rest of the episode before that like dude the fight looked amazing between maito and and uh, uh itadori obviously and then obviously the fucking uh, absolutely emotional goodbye and and scenery for fucking nanami i mean that, that was just but also like just because the fight started right after that too and how much itadori's already been through like it's almost like they just fucking move right on right after i mean like you have like barely any time to process the fucking death in this show it's crazy and but that, that's what makes it so good too they don't give you a chance to breathe and it's like addicting you know what i'm saying like it's almost it's almost, it's almost like truly like an addiction like this show like every thursday i'm itching for it so i swear to god if nobara fucking dies bro because we know she was struggling against that that blonde haired dude and you know we know she's capable of being really fucking strong but maito has been a problem for a lot of people i mean he took out he took out Ma mekamaru and he just got done killing nanami or nanami that's fucking what itadori calls him uh i mean he's fucking taking out junpei i mean this dude is just a thorn in our fucking side and he is merciless sick and just also capable it's like bro he's fuck he's a, he's a menace like he's not he's, he's not an easy fight so that's why it's got me kind of worried like <sighs> plenty of other people have already fucking hit the goddamn dust in this fucking season right and it, it, even so in just the past couple episodes so that's what's making me think like bro it's just like are they just gonna kill everybody off like bro like is no bro gonna survive this or not like i i have no idea until we get into this and i swear to god if she does actually like because he said what he was gonna do he said he's gonna fucking drag her corpse and show it to itadori and crush his fucking soul as if it's not crushed enough thanks to sakuna's damage and murder t t fucking tenfold throughout shibuya and then also fucking nanami dying right in front of him fucking whoever else he doesn't even know about maki and fucking uh old man zenny yet no idea if megami's okay i mean it's a fucking mess it's a mess so i'm really hoping for some sort of w this episode i hope that honestly all i'm hoping for is that nobra doesn't fucking die that would be a w in my eyes she doesn't even have to win the fucking fight just don't die okay please my heart can't take much more <laughs> this is crazy so i think i think that does it for the pre-episode discussion so let's get into it uh if you guys enjoy the reaction please like down below comment subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping let's get into it episode 19 season 2 jjk Okay, we're seeing Nobra. Okay, 
Yeah, she's thinking about she's she's thinking about Megami and Itadori still being in there, and she's like, nah, I can't be the only one, bro. So I, I understand that, but like, still, like the fact that you are leaving, like your fucking like escape fucking vehicle, like you're you you had a chance to get the fuck out, and you're walking back into this shit, crazy. That's fucking wild, bro. Damn, she's seeing the damage that was uh, that has been done. Holy fuck, dude. Nah, I'm dude. I'm not ready. I'm not fucking ready. This fucking show, man. This fucking show is crazy, bruh. Alright, let's get into it. Oh my god, the soundtrack already. God damn. We got civilians? Are we running? Not very far. Oh my fucking god. It hits him with literal human bodies, bro. And he knows Itadori is weak to this type of shit, like, mentally, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, bro. Oh, okay, dude, I'm fucking with this episode already, but just because of the fact I forgot, like, it's gonna be sort of a thing where it's Itadori and Nobara, but they're in two, just two separate places this time instead of together in the season one finale. We know when they were together, they were fucking gas as fuck, you know what I'm saying? So... Maybe they can still produce, since they're fighting the same enemy, but separate. That just reminded me of that. This hyped me up already. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, this is the double. Ah, uh, okay, so the double can't tweak humans or transfigured humans. She might have a chance then. She might have a chance against the double. If this was the real Mahito, like fucking Itadori's facing, yeah, I don't think Nobro, I don't think Nobro would stand a chance. Well, he looks fucking insane, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Might does so fucking. Oh my god. Oh shit, there's a shit ton on the ground. Oh, she's getting all of them. Oh shit, it hit him. It, it, hit, it hit the real one too. Let's fucking go, bro. Yo, Nobara coming in clutch. Huge. Uh, dude, I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Nobara. Come on. This show just got me worried out here, bro. I, I definitely don't want to see you die, bro. You like that, Nobara. Come on. <laughs> She's figuring it out. Oh my god, he took it. He took that moment beautifully. <laughs> He said, Nobra gave me this. Oh, fucking throw him the fuck. Come on. Get the fuck in there. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, bro, throw his fucking rocket shit. Oh my god, bro. The hands in the show. The hands. The fucking hands. Damn. Dude, go ahead. Oh my god. Piece him up. Piece him up. Come on, bro. Get him the fuck. Get him the fuck out of here. Delete him from the show. That's a fire picture. That might be fucking thumbnail. Holy shit, bro. It's just hyping me up. Oh, wow. The double's running. Yeah, damn right. Oh, this motherfucker, dude. Always a problem, dude. Underground, he's they're trying to go. He's he's trying to go merge, right? Mm, damn, dude. dude, Maito is smart, bro. He's fucking smart. Even though he be toying around all the time with people's lives, like he's smart. Oh, here we go. Nobara and he's story about to meet up. Oh, they're switching. Oh no! See, this is what I. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. I don't think fucking Nobara can take on the real one. The double was a good scenario, dude. Oh, 
Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh my fucking god! Please don't tell me she's about to fucking transfigure. Please. We're going back in time? The fuck are we doing in 2009 for, bro? Bro, I swear to God, if this is giving us a flashback of Nobro because she's about to fucking die, I swear. They're playing Smash? Oh, why are you guys doing this to me, man? Ah, oh, fuck, dude. This flashback is making me think the worst, dude. You keep on playing with my emotions. Why? <laughs> bro, kids find the weirdest things to bully shit over, bro. Like, what? Nobody like blue, so I'm gonna fuck with you because you have a blue backpack, bro. Like, what? <laughs> So they're not siblings. I thought they were siblings at first. Let's trade. <laughs> Go ahead, no bro, taking out the bullies. <laughs> it's harder to be strangers than friends. Your first, her first period? Bro, what the fuck? Oh, weird ass town, dude. Fuck, dude. I would have got would have left too. Her secret base is just someone else's. Who is who's this girl? Sorry. <laughs> okay. More refined. I guess she was taking a. I mean, she took a, quite a liking to Sori chan and then I guess tried to start becoming like her, you know, was influenced by her, looked up to her. What the fuck is going on here? Who the hell would have done that? She was not happy about that. God damn. Why are we getting why are we getting this flashback from the perspective of this other girl? Fumi, that's right, yeah. Why are we seeing it from her perspective? It's very interesting, I like it. Mm, she cried. Mm. 
Is this is this Saori here? Saori? Yeah, it is her. What are we getting at with this flashback? I I don't understand yet. Bro, I swear to God, if Nobra is transfigured into a fucking human, bro, I swear to God, bro. I mean, curse, bro. She remembers them. Is this like saying like is this bro because this is present day like because the senpai of her has just mentioned that like yeah this is like a connection where she's thinking about her in the present day and what's about to happen to Nobara Well, why are y'all doing this to me? Is she really about to be transfigured, bro? Damn, bro. Damn. The fact that she just said that, I think is, I think is done. I can't, bro. I, I can't. I can't do this much longer, bro. I can't, dude. <sighs> Alrighty, guys. What another great episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. <sighs> Is this just death? Just show just death. Fucking Christ, bro. Like, I said it. I said it at the beginning of this episode. Like, I, I had a feeling, like, obviously, they fucking made it obvious at the end of last episode. I'm a drag her corpse and fucking crush you to Dory's soul. Like, can we just. Can we just do a little twist? You know, maybe not fucking just go along with whatever the fuck that shit was, bro. Like, oh my god, dog. I know, I was like, bro, it, it, he said what he's gonna do when he fucking did it. I mean, it, it like, uh, I, I, bro, I don't know what else to say. Like, I'm like at a loss for words right now, bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Like, I just, I just, I, I guess everybody's just dead. Like, everybody's just dying, bro. Fuck it. Everybody's dead. Call, call it a day. Wrap it up. I mean, Gojo's locked up. Maki and old man Zenning are probably fucking dead. I don't know how they would have survived if Nanami was basically on death's doorstep after that fucking shit with Jogo. And then Nanami's actually finished off by Maito. And now Nobara has been fucking finished off and dealt with by fucking Maito. And you know fucking why? It's because he, she chased him, bro. The way this just fucking happened is crazy, man. Bro, the fact that they fucking, dude, they like, they like toy with us at the fucking beginning, or, uh, th th yeah, pretty much the beginning of this episode, they like toy with our fucking shit, 
to like tickle our fucking balls and give us some hope all of a sudden you know what i'm saying like because i was already doubting nobra like being able to handle maito before we even started this episode because i know what maito's capable of we know what he's capable of we as an audience we as people who watch or read this story what the fuck ever if you've get if you've gotten to this moment in the story like off of last episode at the end of it you're thinking worst case scenario like fuck please i don't want nobra to die but it's looking like that's going to be the case because it's fucking maito we're talking about maito's a fucking problem he he's able to he's strong like he and he doesn't give a fuck he's merciless like you know what i'm saying so he, the fact that he said what he was going to do to nobra in front of itadori i was like oh shit like please I'd, I'd rather that not happen but here we fucking go again you know what i'm saying like i was already doubting her being able to handle her own against this guy because we just know his track record and then they give you a glimmer of hope because you know she figures out that he's a double and then the fact that she lands a hit with resonance on the double that resonates with the original and saves itadori in a in a, in a situation and you know they're having this hype moment where they're they're both like kind of like a duo going off just like the season one finale where they were together fighting off choso's brothers and, and defeated them black flash after black flash badass right it's giving the same vibes as that it's just that they're separated in two different locations but they're fighting the same enemy but because of the double situation my toe couldn't couldn't like affect you know like a human's you know soul and they also couldn't he also couldn't uh, fuck with, you know, transfigured humans or that sort of thing. That The double was handicapped in that sense. The original can do all that shit still, but the double couldn't. So right when they right when they mention that, like right when Mahito says that and that info is revealed and then Ka Kugasaki or Nobra is fucking, you know, lands that hit with resonance. It's like, all right, she's fucking got this. You know what I'm saying? Like it gives you a glimmer of hope. Like, okay, bet she can take on the double. Let's go. But immediately I thought I was like, all right, thank God it's a fucking double because I don't think she could take on the fucking original. I just don't think that's possible. And so it doesn't even start to click for me, but as soon as Maito starts to realize like, oh damn, or like the double Maito starts to realize like Nobra like, could like actually deal with the double. He's like, nah, fuck this, I'm running. And then so naturally, you know, and she could have, again, at the very, very beginning of this episode, she could have gotten the fuck with the fucking, that one assistant supervisor girl. Like they were picking her up or picking both of them up. Like, whoever came to save them, like, escape route, fucking emergency services, what the fuck ever, dude. They're about to get out of there. And she chose to go back in. You know what I'm saying? Like, she chose this because she knew, like, you know, she she at least, I mean, she doesn't know any better, but she at least knew that she, Itadori and Megami haven't been seen yet. So if they're still in there, there's no way I'm not gonna not go in there. Like, the fuck? Like, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Like, I'm not gonna be left behind, uh, behind those two. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna fucking keep up. You know, I'm gonna fucking hold my own. Like, I should put, I should be putting up just as much work as they are. So that's what drives her to go back into this in the first place. That's what I'm saying. My my toes double starts to fucking kick rocks, and she's like, okay, well I can't just leave, let him go wherever and do what he wants. I mean, he's a fucking problem, rightfully so. But it doesn't even start to click that they're like, uh, like I mean, it clicks that like he's like trying to like get back to the original, right? I'm like, okay, he's trying to get back to the original and you know obviously the original you know if they like get together they'll you know they'd like be full power or whatever heal whatever and each story was thinking the same thing as the double was approaching so it's like okay they're gonna be able to fucking 2v1 this motherfucker even though he might still have his full powers now and he's like like at 100 because he's not split anymore it's gonna be a 2v1 that's way better you know what i'm saying you know it's just gonna you're just gonna have to fucking stay on your toes but they fuck he literally they just pass each other they just fucking switch like this sick fuck man my toe bro this sick fuck dude they just switch so the double is going and going to distract itadori and get in the way while the original is running his their ass off to fucking nobra and just fucking ever so slightly touches her face and then she's just, she's just holding her face there for, and, and Itadori smacks the fuck out of Maito, the original Maito, uh, right after he did that shit. And I mean, right as, and right as he noticed that they passed each other and the original was running towards fucking Nobra, he, he said like, Kugasaki run! Like you, like you could hear in the fucking, like the worry in his voice. Like he was like, 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 please get out of here. Like, I'm not trying to lose anybody else. And fucking Maito touches her. 
and you know that's when we get thrown into the flashback from like uh fumi's point of view which is this you know friend of nobra is the only friend that she made in the village that they're from because everybody's like weird and fucking she, like nobra said herself she, she was convinced she was the only one that was sane in that village and that's why she got the fuck out of there and you could see some of the weird shit that was going on like just like the kids boiling i mean that's like a natural thing like all kids like fucking go through some sort of bullying or or they are the bulliers and some of the shit that they like they fucking bullying the girl over her blue backpack because everyone else had black or red like get the fuck out of here it's a fucking color like what but anyways some of the other shit like you know from fumi's perspective like how like outgoing nobro was and how like you know nobro only seemed to want to hang around them and then like how nobro never liked the village this and that blah blah, blah. and then they found this one girl uh Saori chan or whatever they got started going over to her house because they they she treated them nicely they gave she gave them tea cookies you know whatever and just like gave like was actually like good to them and not weird and not creepy and then like you know i guess the villagers whoever the fuck is part of that village since like they like she moved like she was new i guess to the town or something they just didn't fuck with her so they were vandalizing her fucking place and shit like i guess like i don't know what else would explain all that trash and graffiti on her fucking place like what like she's got a they they had to have lived in the most childish fucking dumb town i've ever heard in my fucking life like that is just another worldly type weird shit like what so if you have a new neighbor next door you can fucking go introduce yourself have a fucking snack like hey bro every time you want to have a drink anytime time you want to do this you know just be cordial be nice you know you can make a new friend nah i don't like this as a new person here i'm fucked with them and make them move the fuck out like bro what like i'm uh, i've never heard shit like this in my life but yeah she moves out and that literally fucking made nobra so upset fumi was also upset but nobra was like really upset because it, it was probably like a person that she like really connected with where she hardly finds any other people to connect with besides fumi in that village and that's when nobra finally leaves to tokyo and then it's like okay all of a sudden we get back to the present where we're, we're, we're with the present saori because the only reason why we know we're in the present with saori is because i mean it could have been like a couple years later with saori or something or maybe still in the flashback but where she left to with Sorry, but no, we we learned that it's in the present because the fucking her coworker uh, or senior or whatever was like said something about like terrorism or like terrorists and fucking Shibuya or some shit, and so that clues us in on like what the fuck like where like this is present timeline and Sorry's thinking about like I wonder where Nobra like it's like giving us this fucking moment where it's like God damn it like what is so like stories like thinking like you know i should have gave my you know i never gave him my contact info like i wonder what she's doing i hope i hope, hope she's doing well it's like that moment it's it's just like a i don't know i don't know what the word is for it but like she's hoping she's doing well and that goes ahead and confirms knowing full well that she's going to die you know what i'm saying i, I don't know the, i don't know what the word for it, for it is but that description and that way of like showing that or like confirming like what's about to happen is just fucking soul crushing bro literally that's what Mayato is going for is to crush Ethroy's fucking soul at this point my soul's fucking crushed dude like what everybody's fucking dying in this show man like, I don't I, I don't understand I mean it's gas like this uh, like it keeps you on your toes like I mean like no other show I feel like does this where they just keep on killing all fucking characters left left fucking right left fucking right I mean the last thing I fucking experienced something like this was fucking with Kami got killed I think where literally the whole fucking cast died and then boom show ends so what the fuck but it, that's like that's like good you know what I'm saying like you don't get that from a story often so the fact that this is happening in in, in, in Juju like and we've had like a good amount of content with these characters before like a comic got killed was one season like every couple episodes boom another dead boom another dead you know what I'm saying like you knew like maybe one character for at most like fucking I mean the main character 13 episodes or however fucking long the show was 24 some shit like that but this show we've gotten 24 episodes a movie and pretty much most of the first half of the season knowing these motherfuckers and they're just dying left and fucking right i mean maito said what he was gonna do cr crush itadori soul bro he's crushing uh, this show is crushing all of our souls okay this is insane but it's fucking it's it's amazing but it's like <sighs> like you know <laughs> Starting to starting to wane on my mental. <laughs> this is fucking. This is insane, dude. I mean, 
what a fucking episode and then and then she's starting to like kind of like look back on her life in this like white space as like we've seen the white space with like Jogo and Hanami and Dago and talking to each other after they all passed so we see this white space and it's like oh great here we go and she's looking at Megumi and Itadori and Gojo them those three together and then and, and like you know fucking you know looking back on them and being glad to meet them and then also maki and panda and and, and and you know whoever else and then and then she looks back and she sees fumi and then it's like fumi young and then nobra young and then we get back into the actual moment and uh she literally died with a smile on her face and looked at itadori and just told everyone just told him to say to everyone like yo life wasn't so bad it's just full smile on her face like you know what my life was pretty fucking good like the the amount the amount of like self-awareness to like just <sighs> truly accept your death right there at, at that young age too like you know most people would panic freak the fuck out she just completely accepted it and she's gone uh, and fucking just her fucking face just fucking explode like bro Itadori's just Itadori just witnessed it yet again another person that he's very close to it, dead not only did he just witness Nanami like fucking 20 not even 10 minutes before this he just witnessed Nobra's death which is someone of his age group and like peer group you know what I'm saying like they've been learning Jujutsu Sorcery together as like a three man squad with Megami so like that's like ah bro bro that's like that hits like way too close to home like if Itadori has, hasn't lost his shit already he is going to lose his absolute fucking mind next episode I swear I don't know how he comes out on the other side of this fucking outside of Shibuya like okay I have no I have no idea how he, how he can, I don't think he does I don't think he does I think he's gonna become like at this point like fucking like absolutely solely like I, I feel like he's gonna lose his spark like he's gonna lose that like funny like quirky side to him and he's just gonna fucking become like straight up drive focused you know what i'm saying like just straight up fucking locked in at all times you know what i'm saying like i got a i got a fucking job to do type shit because i mean he's been through way too much in a very short amount of time like super short amount of time a couple hours dude so yeah um uh i'll see y'all this thursday coming up to see who dies next can't wait <laughs> like, I don't, like i don't i don't know dude i can't this i mean fuck dude but uh i think that does it for the discussion uh what an episode i mean great as great as always like i'm i'm loving this show uh it's not like i'm not enjoying it but uh god damn it keeps you on your fucking toes and just makes you question life <laughs> i guess like god damn dude there's every just character after character after character gone gone <sighs> that's gonna do it for me though i know i gotta i gotta fucking i gotta take a break and just fucking i'm gonna go eat i'm gonna go fucking you know lay down meditate or something like god damn because i've already watched i mean i watched a lot of shit today and all of that stuff was good but obviously i saved the best for last and for good reason because i need a fucking mental break after this bro god damn but yeah that's gonna do it for me if you guys enjoyed the reaction please do like down below comment subscribe if you're new hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping i'll see you on the next one y'all be good deuces